greeting and welcome to the Sunday School of St. Matthew Baptist Church. Hey, Amen. We're just uh, glad that just to be in the, in the land of the living. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. In spite of and despite of uh, whatever problems and situations we may have, yeah. it is a true saying that God will make a way. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It will, it will just get up and, and get on the journey. He's already prepared a way. Amen, amen. So we thank you this morning for those that are uh, present in this place, those that are listening via our live stream. We, we, we uh, bring you greetings, amen, from our pastor, Dr. Mo Cooper, and all the St. Matthew members, amen. We're just glad that you've chosen to uh, join in with us this morning uh, for our Sunday school. Our, our Sunday school today, will, our lesson today will be coming from uh, the book of Ephesians, Chapter 1, verses 1 through 15, I'm sorry, chapter 1, verses 15 through 23 it will be our main text. Amen? Amen. So as you prepare and, and get ready for our lesson, we will give you into the hand of our music ministry. They will bless us with, with song, and then we will return and look to our lesson. Amen. Amen. key that when I realized that I had to seek him for myself. Yeah. Amen. Because as I got older, I recognized that even grandma was wrong sometimes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So you got to seek him for yourself yeah. Yeah. so we can have an understanding that uh, so he'll know, hear my voice. Yeah. 
when I call him, he'll know that it's me. But I, I, our lesson today is, I think, is a, a very good and timely lesson. This, this, this series that we will just begun, as uh, we were uh, reminded of last week by our teacher, that we're talking about this, this, this the, the necessity, really, of being in, a com in communication, uh, right understanding with our Lord and Savior. Amen. And, 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 and going back to those times of, of those teachings of Paul and so forth about how important it is that we not only learn it, the words, what it says, but we learn to become doers of the word. Amen. There, there are some people that are so impressed with their knowledge of the word. But if you look at their lives, there's not very much sign that they understand what those words really mean. Hey Amen. I've come to begin. I'm not so impressed now when people tell me that they've read the, read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Because if it didn't bring about some change in your life, hey Amen. You might as well have been reading anything. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. So I, I, I lesson today in, in my uh, book, I think in the, in the, uh, the uh, lesson book, it might be, the title may be a little different, but it's talking about Christ is wisdom. Yeah. Amen. In other words, knowing him. And understanding him should bring about a certain uh, uh, amount of knowledge and understanding. And, and, and the key to serving him is to know him. To understand those things that are, that are good and those things that are bad. And not rely on uh, uh, just uh, mortal interpretations of the word. Uh, I, I've heard, I was talking to another preacher last night and we were talking about some of the things that that we hear now from pastors and preachers, it's obvious that we ain't reading the same book. Amen. Amen. And, and as Christians and as, as, as warriors, as the, we were talking about learning how to watch, fight, and pray the song that they were just singing. And the, the deal is that sometimes uh, it is necessary to do each one of those things. Yeah. But, but we got to learn of him so we'll know when to do which one. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because nowadays we want to go straight to the fighting Amen. Without gaining any understanding, any knowledge, we, we, we just, we, we're going our feeling and our emotion. Yeah. Amen. 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 I told y'all before, my baby, my grandbaby, didn't, she didn't mind too much that white fight and pray part, but when she learned somebody that got to die, she was like, oh, no. And, and so we got to understand that that's part of the deal, too. Yeah. And that's why we have to do those other things, to be prepared. Amen. When it's time. So uh, our God is such a good and wonderful God. Amen. And, and if you just learn how to trust him, yes, sir. I, I, when, when the things that he wants you to understand, he will make it possible for you to understand. Amen. But even when we don't understand, yeah. we still got to keep putting one point in front of the other. Yeah. We got to get on, on, stay on that journey. Amen. Uh, our lesson today, like I said, from, uh, uh, started with chapter 15, with verse, yeah, with verse number 15. But to put things, I think the, the, the first two verses of this text is just, so important in where it goes and it reads like this it says Paul an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ in other words Paul as he often did in his writings he, of, he oftentimes started it off so you'll know that that I'm not just somebody telling you about what I think. That, that I'm what I am, I am apostle of Jesus. I'm a follower. And in and, and other texts, he refers to as being a prisoner, amen, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even though, even at the time of this text, uh, he was a prisoner in Rome. But Paul gave no thought to the physical bondage he was in. Because that, that didn't matter, because he was a prisoner of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And when you're a prisoner of the Lord Jesus Christ, you know that earthly things really don't have any. Paul was still able, amen, to, to write and then to, to get that from that jail cell out to the rest of the world. Yeah. Amen. And that was only by the grace of God. Yeah. Because in reality, if you studied, that, that was actually forbidden. That's why he was in jail to start with. Yeah. Because of his relationship yeah. with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Isn't, isn't it something how you can be in the midst of your enemies? And, and, and if you have a will and a desire, God will make a way yes, for his word to be heard. Yes, Amen. Amen. So Paul 
uh, uh, was going about doing what he had been chosen to do. And so in verse 15, it, it reads like this, wherefore, and that word wherefore means that if you go back and look at the previous text, he's saying, after I've told you all of that, since, since, you, since you, I've laid the foundation for, for this, so, so wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all this, in other words, I heard about the good things that you were doing. Isn't it something? Uh, see, people going to hear about you one way or the other. Amen. And, and all they don't know, they're going to make up. So you just got to, yeah. our task is to stay true to what the word teaches us, regardless of what the world is telling us. And regardless of what somebody may or may not say about you or to you or whatever, it's that to stay steadfast. Yeah. Amen. <coughs> so even though, wherefore, even though I've did this, even though I've done that, I'm gonna, as we were just, I must trust in the Lord. E e even though I I'm, I'm struggling, I don't know how I'm gonna pay my rent, but wherefore, I I'm, I'm gonna trust in the Lord. Amen. He says, so wherefore also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints. In other words, I've heard you, your, your kindness, your generosity, yeah. I, it's, 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 it's spread abroad. Yeah. I've heard about the things that, it, isn't it something? Uh, it's a wonderful thing. Amen. The scripture tells us that it, 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 is, it is a desired thing to not only have a, rep, a good reputation within, but without. Yeah. In other words, those that might not have ever met you. Yeah. Amen. That's when my, my, my daughter gave me a, a, she signed me up for this, I don't even know what it is, but every week there's a question. And, and at the end of the year, it all comes together and forms this book thing. Uh, but in any case, one of the questions that was last week was, what was one of the most unexpected, most generous things that, you, that has ever happened to you? And there were a couple, but, but one of the things that, 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 I, that I noted most was I, when, when, I, when I ran for school board, and I, I got a phone call from a lady whom I had never met, never knew in my life. As far as I could, I only talked to her on the phone, and she at the time was an elderly Caucasian lady. And she told me, she said, I, 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 I used to live in College Station, but now my husband has passed away, I'm a little older, and, and I moved to Bryan, living with my daughter. And she said, I, I, I want you to know that I, I followed your career for several years. I've always been, and she said, I don't have much money. I, I don't, but I'm gonna send you $5. I, I'm gonna send you, I, I don't have much, but I want to do something to help you. And, and I, I've never met her before or since, but that stuck in my mind, yeah. Yeah. amen, uh, about how uh, it is good to have, I, I, like I said, I never met this lady before, yeah. but, but that could have just as easily been something else, yeah. amen, amen. So it, it, it is good to have, and, and, and I'm not talking about I, I would tell them I'm, I'm, I'm not a candidate for sainthood. Amen. But, but you try to do the best you can. Amen. Understanding that there is failure sometime along the way. Amen. But, 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 but we, if we have faith and hold on to our faith and our trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, guess what? He, he still, we're, we're, we're in that, in that number when, when he said, if my people, which are called by my name, he didn't ask for perfect people. He didn't ask for those who are with, for all those who are without sin. Amen. But of my people and of the ones that know me, that, that ones that trust me, the ones that know that, that even though we fail and come short of the glory, I still love you. Amen. I still look out for you. I still trust you. I still try to do what I can. It says that cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. In other words, Paul is saying that I, what I've heard about you has yeah. it, been, been good things. Yeah. And, and I make mention of you in my prayers. Yeah. Amen. That, that, that in other words, he's saying that when, when, when I'm giving thanks to the Lord, you cross my mind as well. Yeah. Isn't it something to be well thought of enough yeah. for somebody to use their precious time yeah. in the presence of the Lord yeah. Yeah. to mention your name? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because I'm telling you, I, I got enough going on. 
Amen. I could pray for a long time and didn't talk about nobody but me. Amen. 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 I, 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 but, but, but I trust and believe that I'm not informing him of anything. Amen. Most of it, it is not all of it, it's just uh, a confession of what he already knows. Amen. Want him to know that I know from where my help comes from. Amen. So there are lessons in these texts that if we would learn to abide by them, amen, to, to try not in perfection, not, not, not in a sense of being superior to somebody else. Amen. I don't, I don't need no contest with anybody to demonstrate how much scripture I know. Amen. Amen. Because if you don't live it, that's just some stuff you know. Amen. So, so, so it's one of those things where he's saying that I make mention of you in my prayers because I, I, I want to I, I bring you up in the presence of God. And that's what we ought to do for one another. Amen. Amen. We ought to learn to lift people up rather than trying to press people down. Yeah. Amen. Because it is so easy to do that. Yeah. And you know what? It's so easy to be wrong. Yeah. Your, your sincerity has really nothing to do with whether or not what you're talking about is factual. And in other words, I, I found that you can be sincerely wrong. Amen. So, so when, when, when we learn to pray and, and talk to the Lord, I, first of all, I, fix me. Because sometimes it's just my understanding. Sometimes it's, 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 it's my ego. Sometimes it's my pride some, that, that is blocking me from really understanding. So Lord, fix me. Amen before I start telling you about somebody else's issue. Amen. 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 So he said, I mention you in my prayers, and, and this, he said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. In other words, that you grow in the understanding that you can't depend on your own knowledge that it needs to be rooted and grounded in the Lord. In other words, before you decide to go do something, you need to first talk to the Lord about it. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. He, he's saying that, that, that the Father of God, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom. Pray and ask God for the wisdom to understand what it is, even though it might seem make, it make perfect sense to me, but I have found out that it, it is not uh, uh, enough that it makes sense to me. Right. Amen? Because I found some things that made perfect sense to me when I thought about it, when I prayed about it, when I, when, I, when I looked and I read and searched that scripture about it. It was hard to find out how we reconcile. Yeah. And so we got to learn to defer to his word right. rather than those thoughts that are rambling through my mind. Amen? Amen. He's saying that, 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 that he, may, he, may he give uh, unto you the spirit of wisdom. You, you got to want to know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's the, that's, I believe that is one of the, the, the primary prerequisites yeah. of getting to know who Christ You got to first want to know. Because yeah. you, know you know what you do about people that you don't want to know? You don't listen to them. You don't want to talk to them. You ain't, they, they call you. Go, I know I'm busy. I got, I got an appointment. <laughs> what, you know? That, that's, yeah. You, you don't want to spend no time with somebody you don't, you don't want to know. You know? So we have to have a desire to spend time with him. And I will tell you, the more that we have that desire to spend time with him, the more we'll have that desire to spend time with him. Amen? Amen. And so, so, so he, he, he is saying that the way to do this, what is it? To ask God to give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So you can see folks more in the way that he does. Amen. And stop judging people based on what your perception is of how they, because they mistreated me and my perception. Because there's been some times when I thought somebody, you know, had done something uh, that was not to my good, only to find out, amen, that they were really protecting my best. It just didn't look like it at the time. Amen. So we do it in the wisdom of God so that we won't uh, make a mistake that we won't have blood on our hands. Amen. Because we'll run off and do our own thing in a minute. Amen. But somehow or another, we believe that I've got this thought in my mind. And when you do that, 
you tend to discard any other opinion when you've already made up your mind that this is what it is, this is what I'm looking at. This is what, when you have decided that you, you're working from a negative because now something has to happen to change your mind. Yeah. And even sometimes when presented with evidence that things are not as you saw it, our pride, our ego won't let us come back and say, y'all will know what? I was wrong. I, 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 I thought that's what it was. But now I know better. And so to me, when, as I learn uh, to exercise patience, it, it's not one of my, my virtues. I, I'm, I'm one of those that I just don't. And, and, and it's not served me well many times. But I've learned, I've learned, that's one of the things that I keep out in front of me all the time. Just, just slow down, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I, and, and all kinds of, of things. Amen. I, I, I used to, if there was a new gadget, I don't care if I just bought one last week. If this one was pretty or shiny, had an extra light on it, right. <laughs> I'm getting it. <laughs> and that's where I was. Only to find out I ended with stuff that I didn't even really need. The other one just blinked a little faster than the other, but it didn't have nothing. Yeah. And that's, that's what we have to understand, that sometimes we spend our time worrying about things that God has already blessed you with. Yeah. God has already, but, but, but we have become so uh, uh, immune sometimes mm. to, being, to being understanding our blessings. Yeah. Have you ever went and got something and got home and realized you already had one? You just, you just went, you, you didn't, you forgot all about God has already blessed you. And that's what we are sometimes. Because we took it and we put it somewhere and we forgot we even had it. Amen. And now we got, and that's what we are with the Lord sometimes. We spend our precious time praying about stuff that God has already delivered you from. And if you just go open the box, it's, all, it's in there. I sent, I sent that to you a while back. Amen. So, so he's helping us to do things in the knowledge of him and the understanding and the wisdom of God. Yeah. And you got to want that. You got to come to the understanding that I don't have the, the answers to everything. To be able to defer to somebody else's word. And, and who else, if you got to trust somebody else, who's better to trust? So that, that song that they we sing about I will trust in the Lord. Amen. And, and, and those kind of things in our normal state of mind and our mortal state of mind, uh, we have to work at. Yeah. For me, for myself, I have to learn to trust somebody other than myself. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and God has finally got me to the place where I understood that, that, that all of that stuff that I let you take credit for, it was always me. It was me all along. I, he's not a jealous God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. All, all those doors that got open for you that you know yeah. should not, you shouldn't have been able to walk through. Yeah. I, I, I'm not, you ain't heard my, I'll let, I'll let you think it was you. Yeah. That's fine. I, but, but at some point in time, I'm glad that I got to understand that, that it was only by the grace yeah. of God. Yeah. And you know something, you can appreciate it yeah. much better. When, when you understand that, that, that what you got was not a reward for necessarily for your hard work, but what you got was favor directly from heaven. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So he, he's talking about doing this in the knowledge of him, and he says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Lord, have mercy. Yeah. The eyes of your understanding. Be, in other words, work toward being able to see things more like Christ will see them. Don't be so quick to get angry. Don't be so quick to say that, I, I, you know, I don't need to deal with you anymore. Don't be so quick to think that what you got is better than somebody else's. Amen. We get in conflict with friends and family. And, and, and in the heat of the moment, I, I'm, I'm talking about me now, I, I can say that, that, that I got so angry at my brother. I, I, we, we, were, we were just in total disagreement and I told him, you can take my name out your phone. Mm -hmm. I did. I was, I was, I was all into me. Yeah. And then since you didn't see it the way I saw it, yeah. say la vie. Yeah. I did. I, I, I think about that now. 
And I think about how God helped me to understand that you need to fix this. Yeah. See, because he's gone now. And when I think about that, I think because then it would be everlasting too late. Yeah. Amen. And then now my, my memory of my brother yeah. is, is he and I riding down the road laughing and talking because right. we fixed that. And I know that if it had not been for God imparting to me some wisdom and some knowledge and saying, Remind, you, 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 you need to fix this. Yeah. Yeah. You know? and, and I've learned and I've seen because so many people say, you know, you need to go and fix this because you don't know how long they're going to be here. What the deal? You don't know how long you're going to be here. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. So, so it's not only I got to do this because, you know, mom or dad, they may not be here much longer. You may not be here much longer either. Yeah. Amen. So, so we, we need to learn, amen, to overcome some of those urges and those things that come across our mind because some of those things, even though uh, they have been custom, they have become traditions, that they were not pleasing in the eyesight of God when the first time they did them, and they're still not pleasing the thousand time they did them. <laughs> amen. So we got to learn to grow and and. and exercise that wisdom and become unafraid to say, you know what? I was wrong. Yeah. Based on the information I had at the time, I, I thought that, but now I know better. Yeah. Amen? Now I know better. Now, now I know better that, that, that you need to reserve your opinion until you got all the facts. Wow. Don't, don't speak on it until you got all the information. Amen? And, 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 and even then, we got to put that in the right place. Amen. Don't, 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 even when you got all the information, we still need to ask for God the wisdom yeah. to help me put these pieces in the right place. Yeah. Amen. We need to know how to put this puzzle yeah. back together and it be all the pieces because, you know, my temptation was, I'm going to put it back together, but if it don't fit, I'm going to hammer it. It's going to fit one and another. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we, 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 we'll do that because I'm not going to tell nobody I don't know how to do this puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't care how it's cut. You going in there. And that's the way we that's the way we do with life sometimes. Yeah. Amen. We don't wait on the knowledge. We don't wait on the understanding. Yeah. We just going this is what it looks like to me. And I, since I ain't gonna be wrong, yeah. I, I ain't finna tell nobody I, I didn't know what I was doing. So when you look at it, it might look all yeah. but you got sometimes you gotta learn to see it for what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because we have a tendency to want to pretty it up. Amen. And, and so uh, it says that that we have to do it with revelation of the knowledge of him. In other words, keeping God first. When when we say things like uh, to to God, who's the head of my life, and all, that needs to be true yeah. because that'll keep you out of trouble. Yeah. If you've got somebody that goes before you, amen, that 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 when you get to that 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 point in the road, that that stumbling block is no longer there. Yeah. Amen. Even if it is. You see it in enough time to avoid it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But, but, but so many times that I've gone on in my life working on my own understanding, yeah. thinking that I know what it is or not. I don't, thank you. Turn the GPS off. I know where I'm going. And, 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 and I'm just telling you, <laughs> I, I found myself one time in the, in the, in the, in the midst of I, I started out in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. Now, where I ended up, I don't even know. It was 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. We had just got there, and I'm trying to find my friend's house, and my wife started telling me, we need to go ask somebody. And I'm like, no, this looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just a little bit more down this road. <laughs> and the farther we went, the darker it got. <laughs> and the more you get that sense of, she said, you better stop and ask somebody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And when I finally did, he said, well, you need to go about 15 miles back that way. And then you got to. But I was bound and determined. I'm not going to tell you I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> until, until even I took out my Smith & Wesson and laid it on my lap. This ain't looking good down there. So I better go and ask somebody so we can get in the right place. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It says, in, in the eyes uh, of your understanding being enlightened. In other words, ask God about it. Yeah. I know how I see it, 
but, but let me, I, I, I learned to wait because I was an impulse person. Whether I was buying something, whether I was dealing with a problem, I acted right then, right there. But I'm glad that, that the Lord has taught me if you just wait a little while. Because it's hard to hear the Lord talking to you when you're talking to yourself. And, and no matter what somebody else is trying to tell you, you just raise the volume on your own voice. Yeah. Amen? So I've learned to wait. And, and if you really want it two or three days later, then you might. But just because you saw it right now, yeah. wait. Amen? Wait before you have that conversation with somebody. Because right now you're angry. Yeah. Amen? Look, look up, look up the, 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 the definition of being mad. Out of your mind. That's why we say stupid stuff when we talk when we're mad. Hey Amen. I've, I've learned that just wait. And if you still feel that way tomorrow or the next day, then you might want to address it. But I've learned that every situation don't deserve a discussion. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, so, sometimes you just need to let, let people be wrong. Yeah. Amen. It's better sometimes to just let it. Y'all go ahead on. Yeah. I, I'm going to go ahead and let you be wrong. Because insisting on that and insisting on what I believe to be right sometimes is what has caused the fight. Amen. Amen. So, so we learn to do things with, the, with an enlightened eye. An enlightened eye that, that comes from heaven that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the Lord of his inheritance in the saints. In other words, how did the saints get to be saints? How did the saints get to be in favor with the Lord? Because they got to know him. They got to understand him. Amen. It, it, that, that there are some things that you just need to wait until your knowledge develops, your wisdom, your understanding gets to a certain point so you can really understand what God has been trying to say to you. Even now, I, 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 I get revelations about stuff I thought I knew a long time ago. Amen. But it gets revealed. And, and sometimes that what your original thought wasn't wrong, you just didn't have the whole story. Yeah. And a lot of times I found out because you just wasn't ready for it. Amen. Amen. Even if I told you the story before, you, you wouldn't have done anything with it. So he says about the riches and the glory of his inheritance, the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, Lord, who believe according to the working of his mighty power. Those that have submitted, who have, who have surrendered to his power, to his grace, to his understanding, when, when, when he really is the, the, the head of my life. Amen. amen. When, when, when I understand that, that uh, my self-importance, amen, does not rise above and should not rise above my relationship and my understanding with our Lord. Yeah. That, that when we learn to put ourselves aside, Amen. When, 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 the, when, when the scripture becomes uh, real to us, lean not to your own understanding. Yeah. Amen. And, and you'll find yourself now, the, and, and find it because in my natural, I'm going to seek the, the smoothest, the best lighted, the most uh, beautiful scenery. That's the path I want to take. But sometimes that path is not leading me to where he needs me to be. Sometimes the road is rough. Sometimes he's going to direct you to, you need to turn off this pavement, off this smooth, and go down this dirt road. Right. It's going to be dusty. Right. But if you stay on the right road, you'll get to where I need you to be. Yeah. Amen. And so if we learn how to, number one, listen. Yeah. Now let me back up. Number one ain't listen. We need to learn how to shut up. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because again, as I said a minute ago, we have a tendency, when I'm listening to me, I don't care who else is talking. It doesn't matter. Yeah. If you talk loud, I'm going to talk louder. Because I don't want to hear what you got to say. Because guess what? <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> I'm the one that's right. <laughs> so w w when you learn how to just be quiet sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. We walk around talking about God hadn't answered my prayer. God answered your prayer. Lord. You just never shut up yeah. in time to listen. Amen. And, and guess what? He ain't going to fight you for it. Uh, it's right there. You, you, can, you can be quiet and listen. And, and, and when you get up, you'll know the understanding or at the right appointed time. Amen. But, but sometimes we can't hear God for the ringing of our own voice in our head, in our mind. 
And so he says that believing in his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ. In other words, his power that he infested, that he in, in, uh, uh, infused in, into his son, Jesus Christ. When he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. For above all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. In other words, if, 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 if you got another name that you believe is higher than his name, if you think you can find somebody with a better understanding than he is, when you, when you think you can find somebody that will love you more than he does, that, that there is none, there is none, there's nobody going to put up with you. Because yeah. I'd have been through with me a long time ago. Amen. Amen. Your hard-headedness, your refusal uh, to obey. Sometimes even the obvious, because it doesn't fit what I want. Yeah. In other words, see, we got to understand where your help comes from. Yeah. So no matter what principality is power or might or dominion, no matter what name you call it, no matter what, what you try to do with it, it won't be better than what God can do. Yes. Amen. It, 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 it might not be as shiny, but everything that shines ain't real. Amen. 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 And when we have a tendency on my own, I don't want, I want, to, I don't want to go down the dark road. I want some light. Yes. I don't want to drive my, my car on no bumpy road, messing up my alignment and tearing up my shocks. And I, so I, I would tend to look for a smoother pathway. But sometimes while God wants you to go, it's just bumpy. Yeah. Amen. But guess what? To understand that you have been prepared. God is not going to send you somewhere that you are not prepared to deal with. Amen. Because guess what? If you never go down any, if you never go down a bumpy road, you will not appreciate the smooth road. Amen. If you never want it for anything, it's hard for you to appreciate why somebody needs help. Amen. And so he says here, he says, of, of all those principalities, be thinking of that which is coming. In other words, your trouble right now ought not trump what you know your reward will be. Yeah. I'm, I'm going through trouble down here. I'm going through difficult. But I read somewhere yeah. that if you just hold on to that, there's streets paved with gold. Yeah. There where there'll be no more crying. There'll be no more heartbreak. Yeah. No, no more disappointing. Amen. Yeah. As I said, it said, there'll be no more goodbye. Just howdy, howdy your reward that is to come. And if you keep your eyes on that, and, and it, it will encourage you to go on just a little while long. And had put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Paul is just teaching them that when he sent this letter, that to, to remind us that, that, that no matter uh, how much you have done, that's, that's still going to be trouble. Yeah. That's still going to be difficulties in your life. You're still going to have good days. You're still going to have difficult times. Amen. That's why I, I, I say all the time, I, I, I like the song, but I can tell you, if you keep on living, you didn't cry your last tear yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I've learned that, that, that as long as you are breathing on this side, yeah. I'm telling you, there's a mighty good chance that something's going to yeah. draw that water yeah. out of your eyes. And you know what? That's not such a bad thing. Because if I'd never cried about anything, I wouldn't understand what, how blessed you really are. Yeah. Amen. And so he says here that which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. In other words, without the shedding of his precious blood, you wouldn't have what you have. Yeah. Without the shedding of his precious blood, he'll let you walk around with your chest tucked out. Talking about you, the president of that and the CEO of that, and 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 come by. Let me show you my new house, and 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 and, and you always park over here, but you got a new car, so you want to park over here so everybody can see you. I right, go ahead. I'm, I ain't talking about nothing I ain't done. So I ain't so you you don't have to take it on yourself. So, so I can talk about me all day long. So he said, which is his body, the form, an understanding the sacrifices that he made for us. Amen. So sometimes we forget that this morning, that yesterday, yeah. I was almost convinced that I wasn't going to see this morning. But because of his grace and his mercy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Got to come to appreciate. Yeah. Amen. That, 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 that yeah, it's going to be a struggle. Wow. But it's a blessing to be in the struggle. Yeah. It's a blessing. Yeah. Amen. To be able, amen, 
to let that he let you live to fight another day. Yeah. Amen. To be the recipient once again of his grace and his mercy. Yes, Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I, 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 I woke up this morning just as dirty as I went to bed. Yeah. But his grace, just like his grace and his mercy, covered me on yesterday. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. While I was slumbering in the very image of death, yeah. his grace and his mercy just kept falling. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, yeah. amen, amen, I, 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 I knew there was going to be some pain involved in that. And, but when you think about the alternative, amen, our God is a good God. Yeah. Amen, amen. So we need to grow in his knowledge and his grace and his understanding. And it will prepare us better to deal with the problems of this world. Amen, amen. Yeah. things don't hit me like they used to. All right. Amen, things don't make me angry like they used to, yeah. Yeah. because I learned that it never was me. Yeah. It was him that brought me through this yeah. Yeah. and brought me through yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And he's gracious. He's not a jealous God, so I don't care if you, right. you think it's you. Go ahead. I'm going to keep on blessing you anyway, because I'm going to bring you to a point to where you will have to acknowledge yeah. that it wasn't nobody but me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Our God is a good God. Yes, Amen. God bless you. Father God in heaven, we once again thank you for your grace and your mercy, we understand that you have been so good to us. And sometimes we even forget in the midst of our blessing, amen, where our blessings flow. So we want to take this moment, God, to tell you that we recognize, we acknowledge you, we, we honor you, we, we, we glory in your name. Thank you, Father, for, for keeping us within this household of faith. Thank you for not turning us away, even when we didn't acknowledge you were there. Thank you for always being everything that we've ever needed. Thank you for supplying everything that we ever desired. We thank you, God. Hey, man, if we had 10,000 tons, we couldn't tell you enough. So to be it sufficient to say, Lord, thank you for all that you've done and all that you will do in our life. Yeah. Amen. So in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen, we submit this prayer. In his name we do pray. Amen.